girl, Kami Gomez. You are watching For the Record on the Daily Gems Network. Today I have a special guest in the building all the way from East Atlanta. Mute Baby is here. <laughs> What's going on? Pull the mic close to you. Thank you for having me, man. Yes, you're welcome. I, I really should agree to you, like, what's happening? Because <laughs> that's the Atlanta way. Oh, speaking? Uh-huh. Can I hear everybody say that? Yeah, I think. what What's some Atlanta slang that I need to be, like, caught up on? Because, you know, New York, we got our own slang, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, everybody calls each other. Well, they say we country. So, shit, I don't uh -huh. Everything I say, they say I speak in slang. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of shit people be saying. Uh huh. Like what sound? Like what? What sound? Um. What sound is like? What's happening? Yeah, like, okay. like what's up? What's what you want? Like shit. Um. It's a lot of shit, man. Right. So, like for New York, if we want to say like a girl is like, I don't know, like out there, like a thought, like we would say like she is smoochy or toothy. Like, what's the Atlanta version of that? Uh, a net. We'll call him a net. Net? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, anything. And it, if, it, like, if she did, we'll say that. Like, that. Okay. We'll say that. What What about, like, all right, you, in New York, would be like, you wildin' or you bugging out. Bring the mic close. You wildin'. Uh Oh no! It's a lot of shit. It's a... Come on, you like the East Atlanta representative. I know it. Bro. You know I be in my own world, man. I, uh -huh. I don't really be around these for real. But my guys. Oh, okay. God, right. So I don't, I don't. I really be out of it for real. Uh -huh. I be in my own world. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about you know just the Atlanta culture. Like, what part of Atlanta would you consider is like really the trendsetters? Because we just have Fergie Baby here on the show. He's an artist from Harlem. I'm from Harlem myself, so I would say we the trendsetters of New York. But you know, I'm a little I mean, biased. Bitch, I ain't gonna lie. You can't really just see. You probably could say that, but I can't. Uh -huh. You can't. Go both sides. You know what I'm saying? Got heavy yeah. hitters. West, East, South, right. like the North, like every yeah. side having like real. Yeah. Real. And you spent yeah you spent some time in East Atlanta and also, um the the North side. No. Or the West? Yeah, I was born on the West. Okay, you was born on the West side. Um, what's the the main difference between the two? Um, the difference. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the, the West side mm -hmm. wild too though, but the the East side, mm -hmm. where I grew up at. So shit, I mm -hmm. can't speak on the West for real. Like coming mm -hmm. up for people on the West, but it's both on like the same type of shit. Mm hmm. Yeah, the East, the West get wild for sure, though. Mm, okay. Um, I mean, I'm familiar a little bit with the East Side. I love Mariah the Scientist, uh, Six Black. He talks about, like, East Atlanta love letter. Um, who are some artists that, you know, we should be on the lookout for, besides yourself, you know, that are coming out of either East Atlanta or just Atlanta in general? It's a lot of, I ain't gonna lie, we got a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of young people coming up, but I just really listen to my folk, like, Foel, Quan, Baby Drill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I be listening to that. Yeah. I really like um Baby Drill's um new song with Huncho. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, you know, how you guys met and, you know, how that relationship started. Um, I met Drill probably, like, Probably like six, five, six years ago. Uh huh. We were just outside, you know what I'm saying? Young and wild, but mm -hmm. shit, we all growing up and maturing and shit. He got um, got his career going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody doing what they doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Drew yeah. doing what he doing. Mm hmm. And I mean, you have your career going too. You know, you were um headlining 21 Savages tour. Yeah. Um, but Talk about that because to be a fairly new artist to come in the game, 
be signed to 21 and then also go on your first tour. Like, that's a big step. So I know this is not your first time in New York either. No, no. Yeah. No, no I haven't been on hip like four times. Okay. Tour? That shit, that shit turn. I ain't gonna lie. I've been on, I've, I've gone on tour before I was repping though. So shit, mm. I really know, know what the tour life was like. What, you was like with somebody? Yeah. Okay. Knew this shit. So why they were coming up though? You feel me? Uh-huh. They weren't really, they were touring, they was moving around, like, you know what I'm saying? We was, like, in, yeah. in like, minivan, like, not, not minivan, but we was in the bands and shit. Like, like, really, when they was coming up, we was in bands and shit. Oh, God. And then fast forward to going on tour with 21 Savage. Yeah, we Talk were. to me about that lifestyle, because. Yeah, you got no doubt. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. The shit get on the road, it be hard sometimes, but. Yeah. You just gotta learn how to adapt and keep going uh-huh. with the days. But, yeah. What's the craziest experience you've ever had on the road, either with fans or at a show? Something goes wrong. Like, what's the craziest moment you've had so far? Crazy moments. I ain't gonna lie, it be a lot of crazy <laughs> ass shit going on. Crazy. I I can't say what's crazy, but I can say a crazy moment. That like just dealing with drunk girls and mm-hmm. shit. It was a girl on the bus tripping. You know what I'm saying? One of the bro got into it with her and shit, and got down. Police end up coming. They put it like that. Oh, MG. yeah, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna kill. Oh my god. One thing I will say though, I I've been to Atlanta once. You definitely kind of feel like a flashy lifestyle out there like in yeah. new york is a little bit different because you have the flashiness when you go to like certain areas you know sure. but atlanta gives just like rich artistry like all over for real i think so i mean maybe i haven't been to like the trenches in atlanta for real yeah you gotta come come around man uh-huh. shit, i don't really been i've been city but you know i'd be moving and growing though yeah Cause shit, I really be in the hood with my bros a lot, but I've been in the studio most of the time. Mm-hmm. So shit, I know what you're saying. Type no. shit. Yeah. Um, talk to me just a little bit about like a day in the life of Mute Baby. Um, what does that look like for you? I ain't gonna lie, I wake up. I want to get some money when I wake up. Uh huh. Me too. That type shit. I be That's on. all I think of. I think about that and God when I yeah, wake up. Yeah. I pray. I don't. I pray in the shower when I get up. I I do my little routine. And uh-huh. shit. Skincare. Yeah. Your skin is glowing. For real, you think so? Yeah. yeah your I, nails too. Yeah, I had to take care of my nah. You I ain't gonna have my female be taking care of me though. Know, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hunt. My girl really take care of me for real. Oh, uh, that's good. Is there anything that how long you guys been together? Um, about two and a half years. Okay. Going about strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Anything that you've kind of like learned from her or like just like your favorite like womanly touch that she's put on your life? Aside from like the manicures and the skin, cause you yeah. know? Yeah. They're like my twins, so she Aww. Like, whatever I do, she be doing I don't know that she care. That she <laughs> I can't say she she one on one though. Yeah. You keep it on she one on one. What what made you feel like okay, like She's she's her. Uh, my little girl, my little girl for real. Oh, and you have you have a daughter. Yeah. Okay. She like six months. Wow, she's a baby. Yeah, Congratulations. She fresh. She fresh. Appreciate it. Okay, so you a first time dad. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How does that kind of change your dynamic of you know? being a part of the rapper lifestyle and also, you know, just moving and grooving around in the streets? No, mm, not really change. You just got to adapt. Like, I know she come first, like, I didn't know that, but you got to also get money to some shit. I be having to still hop out, you know what I'm saying, move, grow, but like, I just been in this house. I ain't nothing shit. I don't mm-hmm. be trying to impress nobody. I don't yeah. be around nobody for real. I be yeah. chilling. I be really my tell you, I be in my own world. Like, uh-huh. For real. Let me, I, I have a good thing with, like, guessing people's, like, birthdays. I feel like I could, like, kind of read people. 
So I'm going to give myself three tries for you. I'm going to say Scorpio. You hot. Oh, I'm hot? Oh, I know. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to say Capricorn. Um, you not a Libra. Nah, yeah. Sag. Yep. Okay, I was gonna say Sag before I said Cap. Yeah, you right. Sag, okay. Sag, for sure. Okay, I know I was warm though. I, was, uh, I thought you what? were gonna hit a nip. <laughs> What's the most like Sagittarius thing about you? What they say, Sagittarius? Like, like what they say? We what they say? I don't know what they say. <laughs> I don't see. I don't, I, I don't know. Damn. <laughs> yeah. See, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. 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 You say that too, though. You say that too, though. Because I run through some shit. Like, <laughs> I be running through paper. Yeah. yeah I yeah. feel like that's a part of the Atlanta culture. I'm telling you. And I yeah. feel like because Atlanta is small. And there's a lot of like black owned businesses, the money circulates more like within the community. So it makes it easier for people to make money. In New York, I don't really feel like it's that way. Like you gotta hustle, hustle, hustle like super hard and like yeah. break your back just to make fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of shit high here. Like then I shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like mm-hmm. even y'all water high. Right. <laughs> my mom like, I went and stole it. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Be a bitch, huh? Yeah. Can sold them bitch one twenty five. <laughs> bitch twenty five cent in that lump. Wow. Oh no cap. Oh my god, we get, cent. we gonna have to do like a a vlog series where like you take me to Atlanta to the spot. Yeah, black truck series. We can ride around. Yes, that would be around. so dope because. 25 cents for soda. And I was telling you before we started, I went to Stroger's. Like, yeah. I didn't even have the right Atlanta yeah. experience. So you got to your hand with me and my guy. Yeah, yeah. You don't have time. As long as we don't get into no shit or I, I got to nah, come strap, let me know. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. I ain't going to take you what we got. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Okay. Hell no. Nah. No, because even in Atlanta, we I know. ride through it. You know what I'm saying? They record, but I ain't just going to hop out in jail. We shouldn't. Nah. Okay. Nah. Cause y'all get down in Atlanta too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Restaurants and all that be tripping. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, what's your favorite thing about being from the A? That I can say that like I don't say I can't say that everybody get opportunity, mm-hmm. but well, you people do get the opportunity, but some people just let them slip out their hands. But yeah. I can say that a lot of people get opportunities in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. Right. Yeah. A lot of people. I feel like especially now with like just so many influencers being there, mm-hmm. y'all just really big in the music scene. Like it feels a little bit more supportive than New York. And of course, like the South has kind of had music, you know, on lock for yeah. a little bit. Who was like some of your influences growing up? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I used to listen to a lot of music coming up. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to like Chicago music, like Chiki them. Yes. I used to listen to um, little, little young niggas in my city. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. It was it really was my city for real though. Like schoolboy them type shit when he was coming up. Mm-hmm. Future when he came up. Type yep. shit. Yeah, Gucci, all that type of shit. I love Gucci. Yeah. Definitely. Red the real Atlanta for real. Uh huh. Who are some people you listening to now? Like, has that list changed? Go on your phone yeah. right now. I want to see your most recently added. Yeah, it for sure changed. I be listening to like some Walker. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Touch. So, yeah, Shout like out it. to your girl that probably got you in a, you yeah. know, yeah, more lovey some... bag. Yeah, she hot. Like. Listen. Cuffin season right. is here. Like now is the time, you know. Let I me see. Music. Oh, and you got what is it? Spotify? Definitely. No, no, this. Um, oh, SoundCloud. Yeah, that would I be on. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey. Um, all right, little Dirk, not Janae. Yeah, hey. I love Janae. Yes. 
yeah. her too. She hard for sure. OMG, would you ever see yourself like doing a collab? Like, who are yeah, some like R and B artists road. that you would collab with? I collab with anybody. I just I have to just have somebody like right there with me to coach me like. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Go through it. Go through the, you know what I'm saying? The melodies. Like, yeah. How I need to come on and type shit. But I feel like I can rumble with anybody, though. I uh-huh. ain't gonna lie. Okay. I'm looking forward to that from you because the girlies need something, you know, like yeah. soft, but like from a heart. Yeah, I'm you trying, know, rapper. trying to calm it down. I'm trying to calm it down. I mean, you say that you make music for the real gangsters and the real bad bitches. Yeah, that's, that's what I be on when I'm in the studio. <laughs> that's how I be feeling when I'm in the studio. Uh huh. What do you need to like successfully create in the studio? Nothing but weed, for real. <laughs> my gosh, weed, weed, and my gosh. How how do you how do you smoke like papers and grava? Yeah, I roll it up. Not for sure. Bro. No, I don't like. I I'm on smoke. I've been out here smoking backwood, but mm-hmm. I don't really smoke backwood. You be mm-hmm. grabbing paper for sure. Okay. I feel like New York is the grabber headquarters yeah, for something. Yeah, like. I ain't gonna lie. I came on here to watch. Do I seen the nigga smoking it at first? Well, that's who it was, Pia. I think Pia was smoking grabber and paper. And we got some hot yeah, yeah, spliffs yeah. over here, so you yeah. better prepare yourself. New York lit, for sure. Uh-huh. Um. Well, talk to me a little bit about kind of just... <laughs> The business aspect of, you know, being assigned to Slaughter Gang. Um, are there any, like, important... I'm give you a phone back. <laughs> are there any, you know, kind of, like, business lessons that you've learned from being on tour and working with 21 Savage? Yeah, it's a lot you learn when you really just sit back and, you know what I'm saying, think about it, but mm-hmm. I don't really too much be in that. Until, you know what I'm saying? I told you I be in my own world, like, but I know what you saying, like the bin type shit. I, yeah, I yeah, be sitting back watching. I be sitting back watching and, and yeah. learning though for sure. Like even down all the way to his dresser, like I be like the lady who dressed me, like, even down all the way down to her, like right. I be watching for sure. No, yeah, for sure, because I feel like when it comes to the music business, it's so much more just beyond, like, creating music. Yes, you know, hopefully yeah, the goal is really to build an empire, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, production, crew, all that, yeah, it's right. a lot to it. Right. What do you see for yourself as an artist? Longevity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, people be caught up in, it in being in the moment, like, Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about the future. Think about, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know how I can't explain. I be in my own world. Yeah. Any, um like, business endeavors you want to get into? Like, what are some of the things you like? Yeah, I want to get into marketing. Marketing? And, yeah, and, and fashion. Okay. I ain't going to lie for fashion for real. Okay. Well, you could see yourself like having your own line, or yeah, have my yeah, and bringing back some that's dead, like some shit they used to rock back then, like K Swiss or some shit. Like. Yo, I used to be a big K Swiss yeah head and back in the day, like I before pe- Stan Smith, pe- I was on K Swiss. I had a pe- for sure. No, you got to bring that back. We we gonna bring that back. Yeah, fact. I think we, we should like. Have a little- Photo shoot yes, I'm jacking that. Okay, how would you how would you describe like your style, fashionably and also like sonically? Um, fashionly, I can say I got I got stuff my shit up. I, just, I ain't gonna let my clothes still the same. <laughs> so fashionly, I can say I be I be in tune with a lot of fashion, but. I don't, I don't go by it type shit. Uh-huh. I'm just being tuned. I, I know who fashion people are. No, yeah. There's some people like that that is like you could still be fly. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, internally and know the trends and know who's really drippy. But that don't mean you going and buying all the designer yeah. pieces. I, I go get some little shit to put on for a day. But I ain't, I ain't just every day waking up like, let me go to the mall. Yeah. Yeah. Hell nah. yeah. I mean, you said you you could blow through a bag. What shit, you be spending your money on? <laughs> shit, all type of shit you gotta live, man. 
<laughs> got to live out here. She costs. Uh huh. Costs to be a boss. Yeah, that's a fact. Okay. Um, what's the most expensive gift you've ever received, and also you've ever gotten a woman? Most expensive gift I received. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really be. I ain't really Just had no girlfriends for real. Wow. I done had a couple, but I ain't gonna Well, your birthday really is just... coming up, so anybody watching this, y'all know what to do. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, I don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> He's like, nah, chill, chill, chill. Not too much on me. But really, like, men deserve gifts too. I believe yeah, that. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Everybody deserves gifts, but I don't be into twine with all that. I deal with a female, but I ain't doing all that. Oh, okay, you all right? Cause tricking is like a big thing in yeah. Atlanta culture. Hey, yeah, yeah, they be with them upper. <laughs> the I'm straight. I'm in my own lane. I uh huh. Ain't on it. Uh huh. Okay, so like, do you think like a a guy should pay for all dates or like what's your stance? Mm. Are you fifty fifty? Like, what's your vibe? Yeah, I'm fifty fifty. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut his mic. Cut. I said I pay for her shit though on my mom. I be don't I be paying for female shit on God. Uh, you ain't got, hey uh, nigga got to pay for her uh, female shit though. It's twenty twenty four man. Hey yeah, like, <laughs> ain't nobody going out without no nigga paying. Like, hell no. Nah. Mhm. Hell no. Nah. You got yeah the nigga got to pay for sure. Now he got to pay on certain shit. <laughs> certain shit. A female can do some shit too though if she want. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Like, all right, let me handle it for my nigga. Let me handle it. He ain't got no. You feel me? Right. Takes the mic off and then you back. But. All right, what's your love language? Like, are you a gift giver? Are you more like physical touch? Words of affirmation? Like, who is mute baby at the core? Damn. <laughs> I mean, I like that. This is uh. a safe space. Oh, I be chilling around. I'm a. I'm a yeah. I told him, I'm like, I have to down. <laughs> I see, I done had a couple girlfriends, so I can't really just say I'm a fuck a fuck these hoes type of nigga, but uh-huh. I be, I, I move, I vibe with a female, man. It just, she just got to be like real and on her shit. Like, uh-huh. I ain't fuck with nobody who just out here wilding on and clothes to clothes every night and shit. I ain't know that. Uh huh. But what's the way that you like primarily show love? Like, it's gifts, physical touch, words of affirmation, and acts of service. <laughs> uh, I don't really buy. I was telling you, I can't. I don't buy shit for females. All right, so but definitely mom, not gift giving. I buy my mom's shit. But, but. Why not though? Why not gifts for the girls? You got to earn that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit ain't free out here, man. Yeah, yeah no. Nah. I'm saying I fuck with her, though. If I fuck with her, like, uh-huh. and she tell you, like, I want this, so I, you know what I'm saying? That shit, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get her something, but I ain't just in the mob buying no female no more. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you super chill and to, in your own world, but you be having a lot to say on Twitter, so... Let's um let's pull up a couple of tweets. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do that. Um, let me see. I mean, definitely talking about the girlies. Bitches got no loyalty and morals nowadays. Um, <laughs> she had you crashing no, out. Yeah, nah, I ain't never. Been hit. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. I um. Hmm. Always prepare yourself to survive alone because people suddenly change. I definitely agree with that one. I think that probably was a quote I heard or something. Okay. It like a, <laughs> a good quote or something. Uh-huh. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I got a few. I got, yeah, like five. Wow. And where are you, like, in the sibling? Are you the youngest? In the middle. Or? I'm in okay. the middle. Middle child. That explains a lot. Yeah, in the middle, for sure. Okay. And um, how does your family kind of feel, you know, just about, like, your career and your rise to success? Like, is this a normal thing to them? Are they really, like, proud? No, they proud for sure. They proud. Like, 
especially every time I get on the phone with him, I just yeah. Like, I know they be wanting me around though, so shit. Uh -huh. That's why I really don't be like, you know what I'm saying? But nigga gotta make time it. for them, yeah, man. Yeah, nigga working on that for sure. Mm -hmm. I just had my little girl and shit though, so right. I be trying. Mm -hmm. I try to bring take around my grandma or something. But uh -huh. I be trying though. I be trying. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the past just a little bit. Um, I know you did some time in prison. Um, how has that kind of transformed you into, or, you know, shaped you into who you are today? I ain't really, it wasn't no major, I ain't just do no, it wasn't no, that shit was really probably like a, a day, or, I'm saying it probably like a week, that shit was so long ago. Mm-hmm. I ain't I ain't do no major at the time, so I was chilling. I was mm -hmm. that shit was fun now. I just had, you know what I'm saying. He's sitting there and telling some little shit like, when I get out of, you know what I'm saying, do this, right. do this, you know what I'm saying, better myself. But I just was chilling that day. <laughs> can't do nothing else, man. <laughs> uh huh. All right. So you come out, kind of walk me through, you know, your journey. At what point? Do you start making music? Where does that happen? And at what point, you know, do you kind of get up with 21 and now sign to Slaughter Games? See, I've been making music mm -hmm. since I was like, I don't know, what, I'm say like 16. Mm -hmm. I probably made my first song at 16, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't really like it coming up, so I really start rapping for a couple years, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that would have been while playing football and shit, too, though, so shit. Okay. I was in school. I really was in school, like, then I got down. My brother ended up getting shot first time I was in school, so I dropped mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? Second time, one of my partners ended up getting shot mm -hmm. again while I was in school. So I really like playing football with school shit. Like, mm -hmm. This shit I ain't paying the bill, and I got to get down, you know what I'm saying? Folk take care of, so I really like my folk shit. Mm -hmm. No cap, so... I ended up really rapping, like, 18, 19 years old. You see, I started, like, not taking it serious. Like, all right, that's what I'm going to do. Like, yeah. all right, my name Mute. This is what I'm going to do. Like, I don't, I don't know nothing now. Rapper, like, fuck around me, Brad, studio. Like, I've been on it, though, but it's just, like, he pulled up. He pulled me out of the room. Like, I ain't know he was that old, but. Nigga was in the booth and shit, so he really was in there being listened to a nigga, but I, he pulled him out of the room and shit. Everybody really was in there, a couple of the bros and shit, a couple of the young bros. You know what I'm saying? Drill them was in there. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of my bros in there and shit. We was in there chilling and shit. He pulled up, did a little feature for um, Pooh Shice. Mm -hmm. Pulled him out of the room, got down, and me, did I want to sign? That's how the world type shit. Like, no way. Yeah, we right then and there? Yeah, hey, yeah, same day. Oh God. And I feel like, you know, that's a big co-sign. Like, I fuck with 21 Heavy. Yeah, sure. Hey, yeah, that my dog. He hard. Sure. Mm -hmm. How how are you feeling, like, in that moment? I know you like to keep it pee and not say too much, but, like, were you excited inside? Were you like, oh, my God, like, yeah, this nah. is a turning I point? I've been on. I told you. Yeah. He, that, that my brother. He and he, she, he around. She, I can say that like he ain't no leopard ass rapper like he come yeah. around shit that's my brother. Um, I think it was some confusion for some people out there when unfortunately, you know, ISIS had my boy, but we didn't know like really if Twenty One was actually like you know from Atlanta in the streets moving around or like if he was like from England. <laughs> Man, I don't give a uh huh. No no, but I'm saying for you to say that, you know, he's he's around, he's outside, y'all knew each other, like, it says a lot, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah fair. It's clear, I ain't, shit, he came out, I was listening to him, shit, so. Mm hmm Shit, I can't, I can't say too much, I don't know. I just know he, he been around. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Well, um, in the interview, you mentioned, like you said, going to college. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. You said something about even getting like shot at on campus. Yeah, I really walked into this shit though, like. Uh huh. And you went to school in Atlanta. No, I went to school in Arkansas and got down South Carolina. 
the oh, last okay. time. Yeah. Okay. What prompted you to go there? Uh, South Carolina? Yeah. Uh, one of my buddies, he um, one of the little baby close friends to each other. Mm-hmm. So his name Lil Hawk. I be, shit, I been fucking with him since I was in like the 11th grade, mm-hmm. 10th grade type mm-hmm. shit. So, yeah, yeah they, he ended up getting shot too down there. Wow. My boy Hawk, man. He, Jay got out too. He ended up getting shot, going to jail, man, doing some time. But I just felt like I was alone down there, bitch, so I really ended up leaving. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What was your major? Uh, what it was? Sports management. Mm, sports management. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what would you be doing if you wasn't rapping? Yeah, I I would have tried to been go to the league. I ain't gonna lie. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, what position you played? Oh, I played. I played a little bit of everything. I was an athlete. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was all over the field. Football, right? Yeah, football. We were just having a conversation um, with Fergie Baby, who just left. We trying to get into, like, flag football tournaments out here in the city because I used to be quarterback, middle line, wide receiver. I was yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, I miss that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's your thoughts on just, like, the community in Atlanta? Like, do you plan to, like, you know... Give back, get involved with the community. Yeah, you know, yeah, do you yeah, like more. being outside, or I do you feel yeah, like I ain't gonna lie? I had some little, little shit in my hood at one time, but I just want to be like consistent with it. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But like, hey, I fought with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Giving back to your people, like that's real to me. Like yeah. anything yeah. real, I fought with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like people from where you from like support you? Um, in your career, or do you kind of feel like, you know, sometimes it's hate? I feel like a little bit, a little bit of, I can't, nah, I hear, nah, shit, shit. Everybody fuck with me, so. Mm-hmm. But it be like, sometimes I be walking, and nigga be like, what's up, mute? Like, I be like, what's up? Like, I don't even know him, though, like. Yeah. I just be like, damn, like, this shit get crazy, like. Right. You just watch your surroundings. Like Definitely. That. You never know who's who. Oh, God. Like, I be, that's what I be going through type shit, but I just got to mm-hmm. get used to it. Mm-hmm. Moving around my city. Right. Um, Where does the name Mute Baby come from? I could kind of see it a little bit here, but. <laughs> like, I just say my. I, uh, I think it was just one day I was coming over to Instagram and uh-huh. shit. It ain't really nothing to it. Okay. Like, nothing deep. It ain't nothing deep. I mean, it matches the persona, though. Like, you know, not saying yeah, too much. Yeah, for sure. Like, being me. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it comes from. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about Moment of Silence featuring G Herbo, which is on your project. I love that record. I love G Herbo. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? One thing I love about G Herbo that I've heard just around the way, he's really like, you know, yeah, a yeah, real yeah. one yeah, to support dog. artists, you know, before they even at their glory. Yeah, yeah. How I did that come about? Video. I supposed to shoot a video soon with him, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He in Chicago, I think. Right where now. y'all planning on doing it at? Uh, I was gonna fly to where he, wherever he was. Uh-huh. I hit him up about it though. Shit, he said he, he, he in Chicago right now. I'm uh-huh. in New York, so shit, we moving and grooving. I'm he love New York him. too. Y'all might as well come meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should tell him, tell him that, Conrad. Uh huh. Oh God, I think I leave though soon, but I'm, uh, I should do that though. Uh huh. That's in the. I should do it. How did you guys meet? How did that collab come about? And were y'all recording that track together in the studio? Or was it kind of just like, I'm going to send it to you and you send me your verse? Yeah, they had shit. I just sent, he was like, little bro, send me some. I sent him some shit. I sent, I sent him a couple songs, but you know what I'm saying? That's the one he hopped on type shit. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the one he was feeling. Yeah. And this happened, what, like, y'all DM'd each other? Y'all been, like, got yeah. up and met each other in person? Yeah, we supposed to been did something, but it just came like that. And then we ended up doing something in the studio type shit, but uh-huh. it just came like that for, like, shit, send me that little bro type shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so well, you, there. yeah, you also have 21 and Metro Boomin um, on the project, along with some other features. 
who has been your favorite person to collab with or like be in the studio with? I ain't gonna lie, my boy, you know what I'm saying? Hard. I be fucking, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ain't not recognize real Harold. Like, even working with Harold, I ain't gonna lie. I be fucking with that. Mm-hmm. Um, my boy, Get Rich Zay. He a North Carolina rapper. He hard, though, mm-hmm. for sure. And my boy, Tishka. He from, he from Chicago. He hard, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm excited for the visuals. Definitely. They um, come, they come. Yes. Um, moment of silence. You said you're getting ready to film soon. Any other visuals we could expect from some songs on the project? Oh, I'm finna drop probably in a couple more days. Um, the Metro song. Okay. The song I got with Metro. The co outro. Yeah. The okay. Cold, I'm finna drop. I shot that in LA on the road. Um, yeah, this is a couple songs I'm finna drop. I got some. Damn, what's the next song out there? I got a couple songs I'm dropping. Okay. Video. Um, what's your favorite song on your project? And also, do you like Metro Boomin and and Future's album? I know Future is dropping the album tonight. What's my favorite song on the album? I ain't gonna lie, it probably. I, I fought with that song, Guns R Us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs to me, but. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, shit, let the fans know, decide. My shit no, might not be for everybody. Else, uh-huh. That's one of my ones. Okay. Where do you see yourself kind of going sonically, you know, in your career? Like, do you want to tap into different pockets, different yeah. sounds, yeah, yeah. you know, like? I, I even do some pop. Like, okay. Any- yeah, it depends. Like, That's it, what I'm asking. Like, what's the business like, endeavors? What's on. the future for you? A, fin- a future, like. Pop? Nah, that ain't no Close. future. Close? That ain't no future, but I, I, I tap into that world. Like, I tap uh-huh. into other music worlds. Like, uh-huh. Because I already do it now when I'm listening. Like, so, like, it ain't nothing to do it when I'm, you know what I'm saying, recording mm-hmm. it. But, yeah, probably that and R&B type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I tap into that. What What inspires you when you create? A lot, man. You know, nigga be going through a lot, so mm-hmm. a lot inspire me. So I just keep going, man, because I be dealing with a lot, like behind the scenes. So yeah, nigga just keep going, like just keep going. Mhm. Um, we like to do something here called your daily gem. Clearly. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to know, just introduce yourself to that camera. Give your fans or anybody that's watching out there one daily gem. A daily gem? Like, what's a gem? What's that? A gem is like just something you live by, a piece of advice you really stand on. Um, But let the people know who you are and what's your daily gem for them. Yeah, it's mute, baby, y'all. And one daily gem I got is to... Uh, Keep God, keep God in your life and got down. Yeah, keep God in your life and just keep, keep faithful and keep going. That's a daily gem I can tell you. Like, keep faithful, just keep going and whatever you're doing. I love that. Can I get an amen from the congregation? To that. To that. Amen. Well, better left unsaid is out now. Visuals coming out soon. And what's next for you? Are we getting a part two? Are we getting a full? I mean, this is a a decent body of work. I think you have about so. four. How what? Shit, I be picturing the future, so I can't. You can, that how you feel right now? So uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I, it is a good body of work though, for sure. No, for sure. I think you have like what fourteen. Yeah, I do it. The songs looks. on there. If they want it, if the fans want it, but okay. Well, leave a fans. comment down below for the deluxe to come soon. Yeah, I do some shit like that for sure. Okay. Well, better left unsaid. Mute baby, y'all. I'm your host, Kami Gomez. And it's for the record. (laughs) The Daily Gems. Yeah!